When to add bacteria to your aquarium? There's really only four distinct situations when you should be dosing bacteria, and there's also a time when you shouldn't be wasting any of your money dosing it when it's not necessary. We're gonna cover them all. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, you'll quickly find out that I like to get straight to the point here, but I also like to keep the beginners in mind, so bear with me for a sec, guys. The beneficial bacteria in your tank is what's keeping your tank functional and habitable for your fish. Without this bacteria, our fish will die from ammonia and nitrite poisoning. Every tank must have beneficial bacteria in it. How it naturally gets into your tank? Well, that's a whole nother topic. Depending on what level of Aquarius you are, you either understand this fully or you have no idea what I'm talking about. Either way, that's okay because we were all beginners at one point. So if you're in the latter, then I highly suggest that you check out my beginners playlist that's full of videos to get you up to speed on the hobby. I'll have links in the description and at the end of this video. For everyone else, let's start with the most obvious time of when to add bacteria to your aquarium. That's gonna be during a tank cycle. For the purpose of instruction, I'm gonna be using stability as my go-to source of bacteria in the bottle. Even though this video is not sponsored by Seachem, they do not pay me to refer their products to you guys even though I think they should. Earth to sea cam. Come in sea cam. But there are plenty of similar products that accomplish the same thing if you can't get a hold of stability, like API Stresszyme or Fritz Turbo Start, just to name a few. I'll have links to all of these in the description below. Another great option is a product called Seed by Aquavitro. Aquavitro is owned by Seachem. This product is exactly the same as stability. The only difference is you cannot purchase this online or in any big box stores. Seachem and Aquavitro only supply this to your local mom and pop fish stores because they like to support the local guys instead of all the big box brand name people. So go check out your local fish store. I'm sure they'll have a bottle of seed. It's a little bit more cheaper than stability and it's gonna do just as good of a job. Shout out to Tropical Showcase in Hicksville, New York. Adding stability or one of these other similar products is going to help in cycling your new tank. What this bacteria in a bottle does is that it boosts the production of your naturally growing bacteria and dramatically reduces the amount of time it takes to get your tank cycled. Now before I get beat up in the comments, let me just say something loud and clear. You don't need bacteria in a bottle to get your tank cycled. It's completely optional. It's just a widely used method of speeding up your tank cycle. Some aquarists prefer to not use any chemicals in their tank and cycle the tank the old fashioned natural way completely fine to each his own. If you're a little impatient like me, it's totally safe to use Seachem Stability to boost your cycle time. It's so safe that you can even add fish to an uncycled tank on day one by using Seachem Stability in combination with Seachem Prime. Yeah, that's right, I said that. And this tank right here is living, breathing proof. Watch this. This is what is going to allow you to put fish in your tank on day one. Combined with your Prime or your Safe, those are going to detoxify any ammonia that build up in your tank before bacteria is present to get that ammonia out. So by adding prime or safe and stability daily into your new tank, you can put fish into your tank on day one. Now this leads me into when not to use stability so you can stop wasting your money. When your tank has fully completed the nitrogen cycle, meaning you have no ammonia in your tank, no nitrite and very little nitrate, that means you've completed the cycle and you don't have to dose stability or any other bacteria in a bottle at this point. It's unnecessary because your tank has already grown a good amount of beneficial bacteria that can handle the tank's current bioload. So save your money until you're in situation number two, which is adding new fish. Adding new fish to your tank is gonna increase your bioload. More fish, more poop, more ammonia. The current amount of beneficial bacteria in your tank can only consume the current amount of ammonia. So when you add more fish and you add more ammonia, you need more bacteria, get it? Now this additional bacteria will grow in your tank on its own pretty quickly actually, but during this time period, your fish are gonna be exposed to this additional ammonia that your current levels of bacteria can't handle. And the more fish you added, the more new ammonia there is. So just like cycling your tank, adding stability or any other bacteria in a bottle is going to help boost the production of that new bacteria that you need to minimize the amount of time that your fish are exposed to this additional ammonia. I hope that made sense. If I lost you completely, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. Similar to the reason for adding bacteria when you add new fish is gonna be reason number three, during an ammonia spike. Yes, an ammonia spike can happen when you add new fish, but there's also many other reasons for an ammonia spike, like overfeeding your tank, or maybe finding dead fish or decaying plants in your tank, or possibly even over cleaning your tank 
killing off some of your beneficial bacteria. Now there's no way to tell when you have an ammonia spike. Unfortunately, the first sign or symptom is usually death. If you were lucky enough to have tested your water and noticed the ammonia spike from your test, then yeah, you're lucky. In this scenario, I recommend doing the following in this order. Dose your tank with Prime immediately in order to detoxify that ammonia while we set up for our next step, which is gonna be a big water change. Now, even though we're about to remove water along with the Prime we just put in there, you wanna add Prime right away because any ammonia in your tank for any amount of time could kill your fish like that and we don't want that to happen so start your big water change about 50 percent just to dilute as much of that ammonia as possible and when we put new water back into the tank we're going to add prime again just to be sure that we dechlorinate all that new water and also to detoxify any ammonia that still got left over at this point we're also going to add some more stability this is a great time to ensure that we have enough beneficial bacteria to handle whatever caused that ammonia spike some may see this as unnecessary at this point because we removed a lot of that ammonia with the big water change, but I'd rather stay to the side of being safe rather than saving a few shekels and not dosing with stability. It's not gonna hurt anything, so why not? And why not hit that like button if you've been enjoying this video so far? It's only gonna tell YouTube that you like these kind of videos so that YouTube will show you similar videos in the future. Win-win, me and you, smash away. Number four of when to add bacteria to your tank is gonna be during a filter cleaning or when replacing an established filter. Like referenced before, overcleaning can kill your beneficial bacteria. Your filters are going to house the most beneficial bacteria of any place in your entire tank. So being diligent and keeping them alive in here is important. If any of you are like me, I try to clean my filters the most efficient way without killing off any bacteria, both by using tank water to clean my sponges and also trying not to touch my biomedia at all. Maybe just a couple of dunks in tank water and that's it. If you want more information on how I clean my filters, check that video out right there. But there's still a very high chance that some of your beneficial bacteria can die off. Not all, but some. Likewise, when you replace a filter, you should be transferring all of the biomedia from the old filter into the new one to preserve as much of that bacteria as possible. But some may still die on you which is why this is the best time to add some bacteria in a bottle to replenish any of the live bacteria that you may have lost during the cleaning or during the transfer. Your stability, stress zyme, or turbo star, seed, whatever it is that you use is gonna help replenish the bacteria that you lost. Again, safety over savings. I like to add my stability directly into the filter before setting it up and reinstalling to the tank. And this time, I'm gonna add it in the right place. If you enjoyed this when to type of video, make sure to let me know so I can make more of them and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one. Now, go check out the rest of the series right here and for you beginners, as promised, check out that playlist right there. Wherever you end up, I'll see you on the other side.